What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 2010 Pyromaniac.com uh, Fantasy Outlook for Dexter McCluster. Um, McCluster is a guy that I'm seeing get a lot of love. Um, people look at his playmaking ability, and while I do think he will be an exciting player, um, he's drawing comparisons to Percy Arvin. I think that's a little generous this early in his career. Uh, people are like, oh, you know, he can play running back, play wide receiver. Yeah, well, he's a running back being converted to a wide receiver. So I think there's going to be uh, a growing pain, a uh, learning curve that he's going to have to experience. So in redraft leagues, he's not a guy that I'm targeting, targeting at all. Um, similar to a guy like Reggie Bush, yeah, you know, they're dynamic players and they can make plays, but for guys that, you know, don't have a consistent role, you know, I'm very wary of them because one of the things you really want in fantasy football is being able to trust a guy. And, you know, if a guy's going for three points, four points, 20 points, you can't really trust him because, you know, you're going to start him for those two weeks and get you three points, then he's going to get you four points, and you're going to bench him because you're fed up with it, then he's going to go off for 20 points, and the next thing you know, he's like a unicorn. Um, unicorns are guys that you can just never get, you know, start the right weeks. So they're always going off the weeks you bench them and they're never doing anything for you the weeks that you start them. So McCluster I could easily see being one of those guys. As far as what to expect in the Dynasty League, I do like his value a lot more there. But again, even in those leagues I'm seeing go seeing him go way too high for where I'd want to take him. Um, however, if you play in leagues that return, you know give you points for return yardage, you know, I think he's a good play as he could see um, some, some time in the return duties. Um, he is a dynamic player. He does, you know, have the glide on the field, um, you know, similar to, you know, Jamal Charles or Chris Johnson. But I just think this year, um, you know, he, he's going to have, you know, a big game or two, but I just don't see him overall consistently being worth a pick at any point in the draft except for maybe a late-round flyer. Um, but typically you're going to have to take him sooner than that. So... Fire beware with McCluster. If you guys are on Twitter, give us a follow at Pyromaniac with a one instead of an I, or at PyroLion, Pyro underscore Lion. Um, like I already mentioned, you can get this shirt, um, get it at our web store. You can also get our draft kit that is only $7.50 with over 200 player profiles um, to get you going for your fantasy draft, get you all the prep that you need to help you dominate. Uh, also got offensive line previews the whole shebang. Uh, we also got the Fantasy Football Pharmacy trying to find every single way that we can take care of you guys and help you guys win. So if you like what you see, check out more of the videos, tell your friends. Um, you know, don't tell your friends to play in the same league as you because that would just be stupid. But, you know, for your other friends that you are out there trying to help each other win, um, you don't play in the same leagues, you know, give, give them a shout. You know, tell your mom or dad. They probably don't play fantasy football, but they like our videos. But talk to you guys later. Hope you guys are loving all the videos that we're putting out. We've got plenty more. Talk to you soon.